Creating looping animations has never been easier for your characters and metahumans or whatever rigs you want. Using the Rococo Studio Preview, you can now mocap, capture your data, and then turn it into a seamless loop with ease within just a few seconds. It's so good. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up, Derek Kirk of Effectatron, and today we're checking out the Rococo Studio Preview. Thanks to Rococo for sponsoring this video. Basically, the Rococo Studio Preview has two amazing new features. And they've rebuilt the framework from the ground up, basically, to just make the mocap that much better. It was already fantastic, but now there's smoothing, which just makes things look infinitely better. And you can dial it in. It's fantastic, super easy to use, and it works like bam. Like, it's basically real time. Uh, and then on top of that, you also have the now ability to loop, which is so, so good. So what you're watching here are my MetaHuman and another MetaHuman I created uh, that we're going to do some some spooky video with probably. But I'm going to create some assets for you guys to use to make your own spooky thing, Halloween season or whatever. We'll make some crowd assets, whatever we want to do. We can do anything now and make them loop because it's that easy to do. And basically... <laughs> This wasn't a loop, right? This was just a dance move and for like a second and a half, maybe two seconds, and then it smoothed and transitioned and looped it with literally like just a few clicks. Uh, it's that easy to do. So let's just go ahead and check out how easy it was to create this animation and rig it up and stuff. And then don't forget to check the links below for those animations that I created. And let me know what you guys want to see. I can I have the full body suit with the gloves and everything, and I love acting. So included for free, you're going to get this idle one because I think everybody needs a good idle loop. Walk loop for that. And uh, those two are going to be available for free. Links below which I think is really cool. One where they're walking with an umbrella, which is pretty good. There's a zombie walking. That's a good one right over the top scared run. That's available as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna make sure I just provide for you guys. And again, thank you so much for Rococo for sponsoring this video. I can't like, I love doing Rococo videos. Um, anytime, any excuse I have to throw on the suit and create something is so cool. Cause it just, it bridges the gap between you know, there's there's world building and creating and lighting and all that stuff. But once you add characters into your scene, it just breathes a whole new layer of life into it. And I love that. And the thought of hand animating anything, it sounds so tedious and stressful and I'm not good at it. And that sounds awful. So it's like it's like, oh, I want to do all this stuff. And then it's like, ah, oh, but I don't want to do that. But I can do that with my body. And so Rococo makes it so easy that I can actually do that. And now it's bridged the gap between dreams and reality. And I can actually create things that I want to create. And I just, I love it. Thank you so much. So let's dive in and get into it. Oh, also, don't forget to check out the link for Rococo below. Always a discount code. Use my code. Link below it is worth every penny. So once you download the Rococo Studio Preview, you know, you have some sample projects that were available in the other studio, like this dancing one. We can go ahead and hit play, but you can tell the user interface is different right off the bat. And it's nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch this to 100%, but we'll hit play on this. And you'll see this is the original mocap data that Sam provided. I assume it's Sam. I don't know for sure, but yeah, that's a Sam dance, if I'm going to guess. But yeah, basically, this is like a cool little dance, right? I say cool. This is a dance. <laughs> Who am I to judge? I can't dance. Uh, but yeah, this is a... So yeah, let's just grab something from this and create a loop out of it. It's very easy to do, and then we'll do it real quick. So like this one where the feet really aren't moving much, that's a good loop right there. Okay, so like that little bit, this little bit right here. We'll do that. Obviously, you know, you don't want to try to like loop things that don't make sense to be looped. Um, but there is some smoothing between the beginning and the end, so you can like blend things together. So it doesn't have to be like a perfect loop, but it needs to be close. Like you're not going to be able to your first frame if your right foot's on the ground and your last frame if your left foot's on the ground. That's not going to loop, right? That just doesn't make sense. But if right foot to right foot, yes, that kind of thing, right? So hand up in the air, hand down low, 
should be fine, right? So here's literally all we need to do. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and add the smoothing layer, which is right here, and then the looping layer, which is right here. Very, very easy, these two layers, that's all it is. Like this is what the interface looks like when you open up a project. Okay, and you've brought in your mocap data. So first things first, let's just go ahead and smooth the whole layer. We'll just stretch this out all the way across because it doesn't take any time at all. And so now you can just see right off the bat, uh, we'll go ahead and lower that smoothing down to like five, which is what Sam suggests, and it recalculates and then boom, it's good to go. And so now it's just gonna be a little smoother. You're not gonna have that as much popping, like a little bit of that, and everything's just gonna be together smoother. Cool. So now what we can do is kind of go to this part where we want to kind of steal, there we go. We'll pause and we'll go to like right here, somewhere in this bit where he's just dancing, kind of similar. So we'll say right here he ends with his left hand up. So we'll grab this and just, it looks like you need to like click and drag it, but really just click it and then you move it and that's kind of how it works. And so we'll slide this back and we'll put this in, you kind of need to hit play again. But right off the bat, we've created like just a segment, right? That we can loop between. And we want to pull this back bit back here because we want it to kind of be, so left hand's up at the beginning of this. So let's go ahead and pull this back a little bit more. And so let's see. Something like that. Let's see. Let's see. Because it doesn't even have to be perfect. We'll pull this back a bit again. We want him to be in the dancing phase. Okay. So obviously the start of this needs to be kind of more up here. Slide it a little bit more like that. Yeah, so those are like kind of close. So let's just see what we can do with that. Cause it's like kind of close, but obviously not a, a good loop. Okay. So what we can do is over here is the apply magic loop button. Turn that on, boom. And now what that's done is it's created a transition between the beginning and end of our segment down here. And that transition time is set here. So we can just see kind of what that does and it shouldn't really work cause it's a very small transition by default. And obviously it's, you're gonna, he's gonna be like, Shh. so there's not like a clear cut pop. It does transition to it. So let's just take this and increase this to 0.5. This is in seconds. So now it's gonna take 0.5 seconds and blend 0.5 seconds worth of information between the first and the last clip. And already we're getting a much smoother result. And those two ending things weren't even the same. So we can try to adjust this now while it's kind of going. And now we can close the loop, lock it to the axis and start from the origin, which is gonna center it for us. And now we have a perfect dancing loop, just like that. How cool is that? Now all you need to do to export is literally right click your clip down here and say export. And now you can choose FBX and the default, which is gonna be uh, like the Newton one, basically the Unreal Engine one. And then there's Mixamo or a human IK if you want to do something like in Blender or something like that. That's probably going to be easier. Mixamo is probably good too, but let's just do FBX and default skeleton and go ahead and export that. Boom. And we'll call this a dancing loop. And we'll save it in here and say save. Cool. Now let's, before we jump into the suit, actually, let's just bring that in Unreal and put it on a character we're creating. Okay, so inside of Unreal Engine, we've got our character here that we've created, and let's just go ahead and create a new sequence here just for this. We'll call it Rococo. And we'll grab her and toss her in. Boop. Cool. Now, I, I have added cloth physics uh, to her. We'll talk about the jiggle physics because you got to have a character like this for something spooky, right? They're always in the or movies, things are happening there. Uh, let's go ahead and delete her control rig because we don't need that. So let's go ahead and just bring in our mocap here. We'll, we'll right click in the content folder. We can find an empty space over here on the right and say new folder. And we'll call this Rococo or mocap, whatever you want to call it. 
and we're just going to import in that footage. Uh, so we'll just click import and we'll grab that FBX. We exported the dancing loop, hit open. It's going to open up this version. Uh, there's, you know, debate on whether um, this is the way to do it or if you should click and drag it or if you should open up, right click and say filter through whatever type. So if you right click and go to import this time and instead of right here, we go down to FBX animation. Uh, if you filter that out by FBX animation, and we see here, we've got FBX animation here. It will we grab our dancing loop. And when we import that, we get a different one. This is probably the one you want. So make sure you filter that out just so it's a little better. We definitely want to import animations. That's important. Um, and that everything else should be good. So go ahead and click import. So now we have our animation sequence. We can double click that and take a look at that. And we should see our little loop here looking good. Nice. So go ahead and right click that and go to retarget animation. And now we can just pick your person, which ours is victim number one, which is what we've called her. And we choose the dancing loop and say export animations. We'll call this zero dance. We do zero because it's just going to make it show up the fastest. So now what we can do is in the sequencer underneath her body, we can click the little plus sign, go to animations. And right here at the top will be zero dance looping animation. Boom. Click that. And now we can hit play. And you see, she's dancing, she's looping. So now we can add more frames here. We can do a thousand and where she can dance forever. Let me fix some of the physics real quick. All right, so now when we hit play, we'll get our nice dancing animation. We have some cloth physics on and stuff. So we got some good wrinkles and things going on. But yeah, there we go. We obviously need to lift her up. No problem, just bring her up. There she is. Dancing away. So the cool part is, is now we can still like animate her face because you know obviously the body rig and that are different. So we can still come in here and do whatever we want with that. That little dance face. Move your eyes. Looking oh okay. Like that. Right and now we grab our camera. And so the cool part is is like, you know, obviously like right here, her hand seems to be kind of clipping into her chin just ever so slightly. But all you need to do to fix that is underneath our victim here for our body, we can double or just click this, go to control rig and turn on layered. Okay. And then we can add in our metahuman control rig on top of our animation. So we can just grab her hand literally and pull it back out of her face. And now she'll still retain the animation, but now her hand won't be clipping into her face. So now you see she's not gonna punch herself in the face, except right, looks like right here she kind of does again. So we just grab that again, pull that back down, grab the, this. And then we don't wanna break it. Just rotate her hand a little bit, maybe just change that. And there we go. So now you know, she's not quite so. There we go. And of course, we can animate like fingers and stuff like that with a funny face. Good to go. And we created that like that, right? So now we can come in and do that. Now we can do that with whoever if I want to uh, come in here, obviously, and grab uh, myself and choose a blueprint class. There I am. Boom, that's me. My hair's gone on my back. Okay. All right, so now go back to the sequence and toss me in here. Again, delete the body, rigged right off the bat, and then we can layer it back in when we need to. Big dance animation, boom. Oh, yeah. And now we can sync it up. We're both dancing. Mm -hmm, yeah. You put me in the corner. Like I'm just, ah, like I'm just being kind of creepy, you know. And if you see this, like where my hand is freaking out, that's with my clothing. It's like an LOD thing. I should just switch the LOD of my clothing to be zero. But yeah, there you go. You know, add some different lights, add some fog in there. You got yourself a little scene. That's how easy it is using Rococo Studio Preview with its new features of the Magic Loop, which really does work like magic. The smoothing tools combined with the loop tools make it a no-brainer for someone that's going to capture stuff, but you want to just create literally anything that a human being can do 
uh, you can now do it uh, very quickly and easily and make like crowds. You can do, you know, people, blacksmiths working in a storefront, whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm slipping on the skillet instead of hammering. But you can literally just start creating things. So let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do because I can just start making stuff. I love to act out things and stuff. And I don't know what you guys need so I can provide that for you. Uh, and basically, we can just create loops of it for background characters, crowds, everything. This kind of thing is amazing. Arc fizz stuff, people walking, people on their cell phones, people on tablets, whatever you want. People typing on the computer, playing video games, whatever. The Rococo can capture any of it and make any of it loop, which is phenomenal. So again, uh, I'm going to capture a few things and do that and I'll provide those to you. Link below will have a couple free ones and then there'll be more on the Patreon. So which right now, the time of this video is only two fifty. $2.50 for literally one month of everything. And just signing up for one month of that will support me more than if you watch my videos a thousand times. So uh, I appreciate that. If you just want to do that for one month, download everything and leave. Totally fine. You do you. All right. Uh, I just appreciate any little bit. So thank you guys so much. And again, everything in my store right now is on sale. Fall 50. Use that. And again, thank you for Rococo for sponsoring this video. Rococo is the best. And uh, we'll do more. We'll, we'll make more with this tool because it's just so cool. So let me know what you guys want to see and we'll do more.